Hey there everyone, welcome to Elite Travel and Tech Reviews. Welcome to the first uh, video of the 2013 year. I hope you all had a great uh, end of 2012 and are having a great start to 2013. Today I'm going to be reviewing something a little bit different. Um, I'm going to be reviewing an espresso machine today, uh, specifically the Breville Barista Express. So stay tuned and we'll begin the review. All right, let's get started. So as I mentioned, this is the Breville Barista Express. Um, it is an espresso machine, um, and the reason why I'm reviewing this on a travel channel is that when throughout my travels and throughout the world, I've always been a connoisseur and kind of a, uh, a, a closet uh, espresso um, fanatic. I, I love espresso. I love cappuccino drinks and espresso drinks and everything you can make with espresso, and it's something that I've really come to enjoy and come to uh, want to learn a lot more about. Um, and I started actually with a, a Nespresso machine, which is a great uh, product by Nestle. Um, and I will continue using that machine. It's very convenient. It's a capsule-based system. Um, and in that regard, it makes it great for people who are new to espresso or really don't want that have to have the uh, hassle of grinding your own beans and, and putting all that love into it, which can actually be kind of fun for some people, including myself. So I wanted to kind of upgrade to a system that would allow me a little bit more flexibility, um, but also get great tasting espresso. So I actually did choose this Breville Barista Express. Um, and I want to start by saying that uh, this video is by no means sponsored. Um, it's just the brand that I uh, researched and chose. And it fits my lifestyle the best. So uh, can I give you a quick overview of the machine? Um, it is a great aluminum uh, die cast machine. So it's a very uh, nice de looking design. It's also very sturdy. That's one thing that Breville is uh, known for in all their product designs. Um, it also, this model uh, in particular, something I liked was that it actually does include a conical burr grinder in the machine. So it makes it very convenient because you have your grinder, your tamper, uh, your brew head, and your steamer all in one machine. So everything you need for a great espresso is really in one compact little machine. In addition to that, um, you do have a, a cup warmer, which is basically um, a radiant heat from the boiler. And as I should mention that this is a single boiler system. It is a stainless steel boiler, and then it does go through a heat exchanger uh, for the steaming and for the brewing process. It has a pre-infusion feature, which is great, as well as autofill, so that way it will help reduce the risk of burning out your boiler after you steam and switch back to espresso. And being that it is only a single boiler system, there is a delay in between your steaming and your espresso, or while it's heating up to do steam, you also cannot uh, do your espresso, but generally you'll be grinding your beans at that time, so it's not that bad of a, a system. Now looking more at the front of the machine, we always have our, our power button and we have a tamper which is built into the machine. It's a magnetic tamper which is great, uh, makes it very easy to tamp and then uh, store your tamper up in the machine. We have our portafilter. It's a very sturdy portafilter. Uh, this is a 53 to 54 mil portafilter, so um, it's a good size portafilter for a consumer uh, product. We have uh, our little uh, grinder holder for the portafilter, and also if you press this portafilter in and hold it, there's a little button, it will manually dispense the grind, or if you just click it in once and let it go, it will then automatically disperse the grind amount that you choose in this dial here for your grind amount. Uh, you can then choose your filter size between a single shot and a double shot. Here you have your pressure gauge, um, and it gives you a nice little espresso range here. Um, if it's too far below that, you've under extracted it, it might come out watery, kind of sour. Um, and if it over extracts on the other extreme, it's going to be very acidic, uh, very small volume, and very astringent, uh, pungent taste. So you can definitely kind of fine tune your grind amount and also your tamping to get that right in the middle where you want it to be. Over here you have your program. This is a programmable so you can go ahead and customize uh, how much volume of water you want to uh, allow out for your single and double shot. And there's some great indicator lights here. Uh, Clean Me, it's, uh, there's an uh, integrated cleaning system that you put a little rubber gasket in and a cleaning tablet and it will back flush the machine and also steam so you know when your steam is ready to go. Um, as I mentioned down here, we have our group head here and our steam wand. Um, the steam wand can be naked as I have it here, or it has a, I believe it's called a panarello type uh, wand where a little sleeve fits over it so you can just kind of set your milk there and let it do its thing while you're doing something else. A little bit less um, labor intensive, but uh, like I usually leave it uh, naked so I can control the milk a little bit more. Um, we obviously have our steam control over here, uh, two settings if it's in the upright position. We are in our standby mode, which is for espresso brewing, or when you turn it to 
uh, that mode right there, it will begin the steam process. Um, and then you can, there is a, a pause feature, which is great. So once the steam cart starts uh, uh, coming out of the steam one, you go ahead and just turn it back. Uh, you have six seconds then to reintroduce your milk jug and turn it back to steam to allow that steaming to occur. Um, on top, like I said, we have our cup warmer and our, our grinder is an airtight grinder uh, bin, which is great. And it's also removable, so you can change out your beans, which I'll show you uh, here in a moment. Down at the bottom, we have our drip tray. Uh, it can be removed here. And uh, you have a great feature. Uh, this uh, wire mesh comes off. And then you have a middle tray that will separate your grinder beans from the water below. And then obviously you have your water uh, down below. And also there's a little empty me uh, feature down so you know when it's time to empty your bin. And in the very back you have a little storage container for all your goodies that come along with the machine. Now if we look at the side of the machine here, uh, we have our water tank in the back. It's a very large water tank. Let me just remove this cup here for us. Um, it's a 67 uh, fluid ounce water tank, so definitely a great size for this machine. Um, you can go ahead and just uh, fill it from the back uh, while it's in there, or it also is removable. If you just uh, give it a little pull up, you can remove it and uh, clean it as well as change the water filter. Now looking at the other side of the machine, we can see we have our grind control, and this controls either the coarseness or the fineness of our grind. Um, the grind along with the tamp are probably the two most important aspects of an espresso because these are really what control uh, if your espresso is going to be just right, if it's going to be over extracted or under extracted. So definitely when you first get your machine, it's going to take some time to dial in and see what works best for each brand or roast of espresso that you have. Um, and uh, also with the tamping, uh, you really got to make sure that you're applying enough tamp, but not too much tamp. So generally I use about 20 to 30 pounds of pressure um, to ensure that uh, the tamp is perfect. Um, and I have removed that the, the bean hopper, um, as you can see here. It's a very simple system. Um, it just has a little lock and unlock. I'm not going to unlock it because when you unlock it, the beans will fall out of the machine. Or, I'm sorry, out of the hopper and then into the grinder. But it makes it great because you can remove this, uh, clean this out, uh, sw swap out your beans, and then uh, really be fresh or have access to the, the conical burrs to clean them. Um, and the, the top burr is actually removable, which is a great feature for this machine. All right, so now we're going to be back, and I'm going to go ahead and turn the machine on. So um, I'm going to press the power button right here, and it's going to spill up the boiler a little bit. And uh, once all of your lights become active, it's ready to brew espresso. So um, it's definitely a very quick process. I was very impressed at how quickly it does heat up. Um, and also, as I mentioned, you know, this fits, this fits me well because sometimes I do want to do ground espresso where I grind the beans myself. Over other times, I will use a pre-ground espresso uh, just for um, consistency if I'm doing a lot of them. It's just easier to kind of scoop in a pre-ground espresso. So it makes it great because then uh, you're able to really do a wide variety of coffees. So um, as you can see, the machine's ready to go. Um, so now I'll go ahead and show you how to uh, brew uh, a Polish out of espresso and also steam some milk. And then in the end, we'll put it together and uh, we will do a, uh, a cappuccino or a latte. I haven't quite decided yet, but I'll show you kind of how everything fits together. So I'll speed this up for you, but uh, in the in different parts, I'll kind of slow it down and show you uh, what I'm doing. So here we go.